In this video, we'll discuss about the strategies to develop a growth mindset. When you let results such as your test scores, your weight, your job, or your appearance define you, you become the victim of a fixed mindset. On the contrary, a growth mindset is all about learning and you can speed up the process by following some true and tried strategies. Continual learning. A growth mindset is foremost about evolving and growing. As such, instead of looking to others for approval, you need to look to others to help you improve. This means that you don't feel compelled to justify everything you do. Doing so only means you sacrifice your potential for growth. Instead, prioritize your learning over approval as this will help you grow and succeed in your ventures. At the same time, trying new things will help you come up with different ideas and make you aware of what you are good at. You can also start challenging yourself with new tasks to develop your potential. Be committed. When you pair continual learning with commitment, you set yourself up for excellence. Too often, people make the mistake of wobbly commitment, thinking that they are committed to their cause or goal, but they're really not. With a shaky mindset, people set out to try things and then just wait to see what happens. During the process, many people only focus on the fact that they haven't yet accomplished their goal and can't stop thinking about how much further they have to go. This limiting mindset can sabotage your efforts, making you more prone to giving up. However, when you develop a growth mindset, this problem gets eliminated. When you decide that you are fully committed to achieving your goals, regardless of any setbacks, you are more likely to succeed. Here's a very simple, everyday example. You wake up late, jump out of bed, already stressed that you will miss your bus or your carpool. In the rush, you skip breakfast, dress hurriedly, and rush out the door only to find that you have indeed missed your ride. Now a fixed mindset will likely respond by muttering, cursing, calling names, and stay in a foul mood for the rest of the day. But if you are working towards developing a growth, you will see this as an opportunity to commit to a more timely routine to make sure that this doesn't happen again. You will then respond by going to bed early, setting an alarm, and laying out your clothes in the evening so that tomorrow is better and different. Don't just commit to planning it out in your head, but commit to carrying it out in action. Develop healthy self-esteem. It can become very hard to aim for or achieve success without self-esteem. Before you can hope to grow or improve, you need to believe that you are capable of achieving your goal. Since you can't afford to undermine yourself, it becomes important that you stop worrying about what others think. Your self-esteem is how you see yourself, a reflection of your mindset. It is created from an internal dialogue with yourself where you perceive and evaluate your worth, whether positive or negative. To have a strong self-esteem, you need a strong mindset, one that allows you to grow and evolve. Work on your perspective. Every mindset has to do with perspective. Your foundational beliefs, thoughts, biases, and attitudes all affect the way you process information and experience the world around you. Having a growth mindset increases the likelihood of formulating a winning perspective and achieving long-term success. Perspective is also the driving force behind motivation. Motivation determines whether you are trying to achieve something because you see yourself lacking in some way, or it may be that you want to achieve your full potential. For instance, when you want to lose some weight, is it because you don't like your body, or is it because you want to be healthy? While either reason will move you towards your goal, the one triggered by feeling of lack will possibly be more tenuous. Set effective goals. There are many factors that affect an individual's growth mindset. One among these is setting effective and meaningful goals. When goals are set realistically, it becomes more probable to achieve them. Achieving major goals or even smaller milestones towards a bigger goal is a positive learning process for the growth mindset. A mind that is resilient will get you through the tough times and help you move on to the next challenge. Manage your inner negative voice. One of the biggest obstacles to having a growth mindset is your inner critical voice. This voice keeps telling you that you can't do it. It's not worth it. You are who you are and you need to learn to live with that. This inner voice reinforces the idea that things are given and you've only got so much influence over your life. Everyone, even those with a growth mindset, have this voice and to change your mindset you need to learn how to manage it. As a starting point, turn the can't in your mind into can and add a yet to the end of your sentences. Facing adversity. A growth mindset is successful in facing adversity. If you want to get through the rough patches, you will need to face each challenge head on. If you avoid facing obstacles, you can't hope to maximize your current potential or develop new skills. Challenges present an opportunity to learn and expand, which means that you can also grow in the process. People with a growth mindset excel at challenges as these propel them forward. Be open to feedback. A growth mindset always welcomes feedback as it is another chance to learn. 
Feedback also provides the opportunity to improve your performance. It helps you determine which areas you need to improve and where you're doing well. And since feedback is provided by others, it is very important to interact with other people. Interacting or networking may involve stepping out of your comfort zone in order to inspire creativity. Imagine reaching your office where your boss calls you in to complain about a report you've prepared or a project you're handling. With a fixed mindset, you will see this as a chance to beat yourself up. You may also end up feeling that you're not good enough for this job or that your boss is absolutely clueless as to what it takes to get the job done. In either case, the rest of your day is spent cribbing and complaining in worst case scenarios, even job hunting. But when you strive to develop a growth mindset, you'll see the same incident as something of a learning experience. You'll be more willing to evaluate your performance and seek constructive feedback that actually helps you figure out how to improve your project. Instead of muttering and mumbling, moving on will be much easier.